all right i figured i'd make a quick video because the last video i made i used the tool itself to um to make the video but i didn't realize that it does not record audio it only recorded uh the video but there's no audio i'm gonna find a way to uh do a voiceover on the um on the video and hopefully you know i'll be able to get my message out because you know it was been so frustrating um you know using the tools uh, because of the expectation that I had uh, for the tools when I got them is not exactly what I meant while using them. So um, I tried to make the video while, you know, playing around with it, but unfortunately there's no audio. So I wanted to uh, <clears throat> make this video um, real quick and, uh, you know, uh, still try to give my message out there because uh, there's a lot of people that were in my, that are in my shoe. Uh, when I was getting these tools and probably had the same expectations that I had um, that were probably going to go get these tools and they will probably end up getting disappointed. So they're just trying to help people out here because I've been on a search. It's been almost a year. Um, I've been trying to get, uh, you know, a tool that uh, <clears throat> that will um, serve me the purpose that I wanted, that I needed it for. But, you know, um, yeah, I have been uh, I have been unsuccessful. I mean, I'm not trying. I would like not to spend a lot of money, <clears throat> you know, to get what I want. I'm not a shop. I'm not looking to do anything too big. You know, I'm just like an independent person. But I do work on a lot of cars, you know, uh, you know. So just you know, given out here in my Mercedes here, but um, you know, I just want something that give me a little more versatility. You know, um, you know. And be able to do just, you know, simple, basic, just a little bit advanced stuff, you know, um, you know, things like that. But um, I got this here. This is the DWA X2. I started from the X30, X30M, you know, which is just a really, really basic. And then I got this one. Um, and then I got this one. This is a thing car. Uh, after I had some problems, uh, well, not problems, but uh, difficulty doing certain things with this. So I was, I was looking up on a thing scan, you know, <clears throat> a lot of people had a lot of good things to say with, uh, about it. And also the big selling point, which is the, uh, free life, uh, life, lifetime, uh, update. So I was thinking, okay, maybe this can do a little more, but at the end of the day, it still turned out to be just something really basic. The car coverage is very, very small. You know, I couldn't even... I try to I couldn't even connect uh to the um to the uh uh drive unit uh the the what do you call it the uh the Mercedes is called a drive unit I forgot what it's called on other cars but um basically the PCM you know what I mean I couldn't connect to it on this car my Mercedes so which is very very weird it's like crazy you know it connects to all the sim couple of the modules models but it cannot connect to the um so this one definitely is gonna be going back to but this one I've had moderately, moderately, moderately um, sized uh, uh, success with it, you know, doing certain things. But, uh, you know, a couple other things I couldn't do. Um, <clears throat> I tried to reset the the airbag in that car. It's an Infiniti 2015-350. And I couldn't do that. <clears throat> um, at one time I tried to uh, reset a... Um, airbag as well in the mercedes a 2021 glc and i couldn't do that it wouldn't even connect to the um to the airbag module which is crazy i did which is crazy i did email them uh send them a message on the uh, you know and then uh it took a couple of weeks but they came back and told me that they fixed it but of course at that time i didn't have the car anymore so uh you know, a couple of other glitches here and there that i've had uh with this you know tool so kind of disappointed in it to be honest um at one time i tried to do a bcm swap on a q50 as well it, it wouldn't do that um you know i can't remember i tried to do a key key matching which was uh, listed in the capabilities uh, uh, with this on a jeep granted it was an older model jeep i think it was a 2000 2001 they had the key got it cut and everything and i just tried to copy the the imo program from one key to the other and he wouldn't even do it so just been having little weird you know uh issues here and there with it um so you know all that just put together you know just made me like very very disappointed i'm like you know what i mean it's just pointless for me to keep the tool if i can't even do anything with it anything useful with it uh and then at one time i tried to do a odometer correction uh with it this one wouldn't do it the thing scan wouldn't do it but um um 
the X2, of course, would not do it for whatever reason. So, you know, just... Oh, yeah, I think I said it was on the Jeep, Jeep Grand Cherokee. So, you know, um, just having some issues here and there. Um, so now I'm looking at uh, getting the D9. Um, I know the D9 comes with the J2. And uh, from the reviews that I've seen, uh, it can do uh, ECU programming. Uh, one guy said it does it for uh, BMW, Mercedes, and Audi. And I was wondering, is that the only cars that it does the programming for? You know, hopefully it will do for uh, other cars, you know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, just uh, uh, give it, I, I, could, I can't turn this on anymore because uh, for whatever reason, it looked like they locked it. Uh, when I turn it on, it'll just say device locked, you know, which is crazy. So, but anyway, this is, they're, they're both going back. Um, so I'm looking at uh, getting a Autel, the MK900, the newer one, and then I'll try to get a... Um, the x2 d9 uh and you know see you know what what i can do with them uh hopefully i'll be, I'll be able to do a little more with them so i'll just stay tuned i just wanted to make this this quick video i didn't want it to last too long i um, just wanted to put it out there for whoever that's uh looking um to get one of these just to beware um so this is what this tool is saying now uh, it's locked. I can't even uh, write in it. But if you look closely, it says device locked. <laughs> I didn't know they're able to do that. Imagine the amount of control they have on the things that they sell. Now it's crazy. You buy something and you think it belongs to you, but they're still able to do that. <clears throat> but anyway, it's going back in. It's no big deal. Um. So, but yeah. Um. Just be wary if you have any question. You know, based on my experience with this. Uh, with these tools, just ask me. I'll do my best to answer it.